Good morning, folks. This is Naim Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily fundamental video analysis. Today, what we're seeing in the European market is another down day. But of course, things have changed enormously over the last 24 hours. And let me break it down for you. What do I mean by enormously and why have I choose that word? Because yesterday, remember, we discussed that these presidential debates, they do not have much of an influence on the stock market or on the forex market. But this is not what we, we experienced over the last 24 hours when President Trump and Joe Biden, they had their first presidential debate. What happened initially at the debate started, we saw the Dow Jones futures searching to the upside, not much movement, but yes, the movement was to the upside. But the question is why that movement happened to the upside. And the reason for that particular element was because Joe Biden came up or came across as a much stronger candidate than what the market or investors were pretty much anticipating. So it was clear that he is not going to let Donald Trump to run him over with his ignorance. But after the debate, the market started to tank. And the reason for that particular plunge is because investors and traders, they believe that Donald Trump isn't going to do the, the transmission of power that easily. In simple words, he is not going to accept the defeat that easily. So that means that this particular presidential election are not only going to bring this uncertainty between now and the presidential election date and the election, the US election date, but also there are stronger chances of this uncertainty to continue for the rest of this year. And that means going up to December or perhaps January as well. And this particular factor drove the market lower. And this is the reason that we are seeing the Dow Jones futures plunging well over 250 points. Now, as you can see on the chart for the Dow Jones uh, industrial average, the price has completely reversed its momentum. Now, of course, traders and investors have completely ignored all the positive news that came out of China in terms of their economic numbers because the numbers came out very strong. So we should have seen that in, you know, positive momentum to, um, following for the, for the uh, coming into the US market and of course in the, in the Asian markets, but we didn't see that. What we're seeing is that the Dow Jones is reversing its movement and it, fa is fa it, it literally failed to break above its 50 day moving average. So for trade for bears, that is a really good sign because they know that the price hasn't been able to break above that and the only path of least resistance for the Dow Jones Industrial Average remain skewed to the downside. And that means the movement from the 100-day moving average all the way towards the 200-day moving average. And that is where the primary focus is. But in terms of economic numbers, keep an eye on the US ADP data which is going to be released later on today at 1.30 p.m. British Standard Time. Now remember, this particular number usually sets the tone for the US jobs report, which is due on Friday. So a stronger number today can really change the momentum because the Dow Jones is off its lows of the day. So if the number is really strong with respect to the ADP employment, it will not, it can actually reverse the losses and also set a positive tone in terms of the US jobs report today as well. That's all for today. I'll see you guys next time.